feeling we're being watched. Uh oh. Hey, it's the cat again! All right, you guys, we've got to figure out what ago, she's up to. When a pit opened up in this area. Giant holes, lights, enraged monsters. Hmm. Can't make heads or tails of anything. But it's not Rotha's we will fault. Find the pit if we go that way. Okay. Chief has mistaken you for the legendary rider who stopped the Black Blight. Sorry. But if you do form a bond of kinship with Ratha, you really could become a legend. Our poor Ratha. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself. I'm sure you can become a renowned writer too, buddy. No. <laughs> Is something wrong? Could it be that you're afraid? Because Ratha may have a terrible power? I mean, everyone wants to put him if down. He really does have that power. I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But monsties listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. Oh great. So now all of the emotional burden is on me. They say that my buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotion. They don't have a language like us, so maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Ratha will be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. That makes sense to me. Because, like, you know, that's how it works even that's with puppies and, like, cats. A lot of the animals we work with. Something wrong, Naviru? <laughs> hmm, it really feels like we've been watched this whole time. A sneaky cat. But by who? I don't see anyone. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet toe beans. Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans. <sighs> Uh-oh. Did you just cause an avalanche out of your, like, ego? Oh, wait. There it is, guys. It's the pit. <laughs> We've got trouble. We better hurry, buddy. Oh, serious eyebrows. Oh, so serious. <laughs> but all right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, where it is finally time to visit the pit with none other than Jane or Anjanith, who is quite proud over everything that she has been able to accomplish. Like we took out a royal monster for the first time. Just the downside of that is that unfortunately the royal monster did not guide us to its dead. So we weren't able to get whatever fancy egg that it had. However, <gasps> look, Kobe! Yes, this is the first time we're actually able to take Kobe out so that he can guide us over to this treasure chest. Nice. Fang Beast Stimulant. Noted. I wonder what that can help us out with in the future. Meanwhile, let's switch back over to Jane. Well, let's switch over to Terry, because I think that we probably don't want to get too distracted by fighting some of the other monsters. And there's kind of a really important event going on with the whole, like, the place has the very dangerous glowing pit right over there problem. So we probably want to get moving towards it pretty quickly. However, I should swap back over to Jane before we get too far so that we don't end up fighting with Terry instead. Oh good, a couple life powders. Actually, maybe that's a terrifying hint of what we're about to face. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, one of Seki's... One of Seki's mysterious creatures. Oh, what's this? Oh, guys, our keeper! Greetings, travelers. Are you ready to have the thrill of your nine lives within the famous Lavinia geyser jump? Ge geyser jump? I don't know about you, but I thought felines and water don't mix very well. Don't worry, your whiskers. It's 100% safe, guaranteed. Plus, there's no other way forward anyway. There's just some rules and clauses to go over first. The geysers are numbered by destination. It's your own res responsibility to make sure you get the correct geyser. I guess we don't really have a choice. Crazy as it sounds, it could be a fun new experience. Let's do this. Okay, what? So this is geyser number one. What happens if you jump into it? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, that is hilariously cute. I love that. Lavina, what? 
This is where you live? How is their village still intact? Okay, that was unexpected. So that was geyser number one. And it guides you to this spot. Uh, let's look at the map real quick. Look at all this. Oh, so we wouldn't have... Okay, I guess we would not have been able to keep going to the pit if we had been elsewhere. But now we missed out on a bunch of treasure. Well, that's just the way it happens sometimes. All right. No monsters spotted around here just yet. Let's change over to Nursilla. Thank you, Nursilla. I'm so excited we have her with us so that we can go ahead and finally start, like, climbing. And then let's swap back to Terry, just in case. There we go. And it looks like this is another one of those geysers. So this is geyser number two. And so we rode geyser number one. So, oh, I wonder what... Oh, it's a Jade Baron! <laughs> okay, so we want to be a little careful. There are Jade Baroths afoot. Here's geyser number three actually hiding right over here. Okay. All right, that Jade Baroth is just kind of barreling around the place. So we do want to use a little caution. So there's a flash bomb. All right, Terry, let's actually check out the map to see what we have found so far. So I think we've gone as far as we can with geyser number one. So let's go on geyser number three and see what happens. Okay. Geyser three. It's our responsibility. I love that. Okay, let's see. There is a treasure chest right... Where is it? Like... Oh, there's treasure there. And then there's a couple treasures there. Chill shrooms. I love all the different flora and fauna that you can discover. Mint leaves. Aha! And thank goodness we have a whole bunch of monsties who can do all these different abilities now. Ooh, gold fragment! What? Okay, gold fragment and flash bombs. We found a lot of flash bombs recently. I'm a little sus. We're going to review what they do. Explosive that releases a blast of bright light has a chance to inflict blind on an enemy. Okay, good. Just wanted to do, double check that because it seems like that may become relevant very soon. Meanwhile, there's another. Oh, so there's a geyser. That's the way out of here is geyser number two. Okay. There we go. Lots of chill shrooms, lots of honey. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's swap back over to Terry. So that we're going ahead and we're staying hidden. Because we don't want to bother fighting these jaggies. There's some rare monster bones. Okay, we'll go ahead and move quickly with Kobe. And hopefully not have to worry too much about fighting the jaggy. Yeah, there's nothing else back here now. Jump, and then really quickly, go, 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 go. Good job. There, now that we've lost them, Terry's gonna guide us back into the shadows. Look at the beautiful pillars of ice. Wow, that's really pretty. I have to admit that Laloska Mountain with its snow has impressed me so much as time has gone on. Oh, and this really does look like that rare den that we got lost in. Wow, I wonder where this could take us. This looks just like that rare den that we got lost in. How fascinating. Oh, and speaking of rare, and welcome to our burrow, eh, little guys? You're next to really, like, scary things, little one. Oh, look how cute she is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Absolutely precious. It's another feline burrow. Oh. Just tucked right here out in the wilderness. Your battle performance will suffer if you don't look after yourself. Let me get you healed up before you faint. I mean, I'm not going to turn that down. Look at all the little treasure the felines have. They're so cute. Meanwhile, we have our catavanner. 
That would be a one-way trip though, and we don't want that just yet. Aviana? Toe beans, so squishy, so... <clears throat> um, we're very lucky to have found a place to refuel before carrying on. Very true, and it's full of cats, which I'm never gonna complain about. Oh, and a chest! I almost forgot about the chest! Ooh, life powders, okay. Useful! Slightly concerned about what that might imply, but useful. Let's actually take a moment to switch our equipment to our burning blow, just in case. <sighs> it does have fire element, but I don't think it, it'll like cause burn, unfortunately. Okay, wait, what? Okay, I would like to confirm that. Switch weapons. There we go. That's how you switch weapons. Okay. I don't know if piercing attack is going to be useful, but we'll start there and we'll see where we end up. All right. Oh, it's one of the red versions of those guys. Oh, dear. Okay. And we're still having to, like, wiggle our way through this mysterious twirling cave. That's okay. We've got to go ahead and do a little bit of research on this expedition. I do not want to have to fight the variant of the creepy creepy monsters. I will, however, search out all of the nooks and crannies to make sure we're not missing anything that an explorer like me would be really intrigued by. Aha! All right, and here we go, guys. I told Jane that she could go ahead and she could be a lead on this, even though it feels more appropriate. You know what? She defeated the 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 royal monster. Let's let Rotha come on out because it's been a long time and this does kind of concern his fate. <laughs> he hadn't hatched or was on the last one. Oh no, she brought the kid! I don't like the look of this. When is it going to reveal its power? Hang in there, Rupa. We gotta stay alert, buddy! Huh? 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 What? It's a giant bug! I should've gotten Nursilla out! She could've made it like web! A gigantic web to capture these monsters in. Or monsters, I should say. Alright, Rafa. We're gonna see how this plays out. I might have to spot monsters for sure. We have to stop them before they get a chance to damage the village. You can count on us, Aviana. I mean, yeah? Okay, uh, I don't think piercing is gonna help me, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. They're probably gonna be pretty fast, is my guess. Uh, let's go with the queen? I'm gonna try going with this guy in the stomach. Oh, they were using technical attacks, both of them. Yes, piercing is good on that guy. Oh, Avina! We just defeated a royal, so I really feel like we we should feel super on on par for being able to handle this. Uh, also, you're trying to mess with my Ratha? I don't think so. All right, let's do a power. Oh, double power attack, yes! Yes, and piercing is actually good on the Celtus Queen. Really, I should have made a web. That would have been really cool. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to- Ah, gross. I'm gonna have to check on what Ratha's abilities are again really quickly. He can do Venom Strike for poison, but other than that, he doesn't have like anything that's currently focused on flame, and I don't really want to do any gene swapping with him. It might be worth it to see if the others could help us out a bit more, but for now, Let's go ahead and just carry on with our attacks as normal and see what happens. All right, winning the head-to-head. -head. Don't mind me. Yeah, I think fighting the royal was so much harder 
Jane absolutely has made it. What? They can pair up like that? Of course, that makes sense. They've joined together. I've got a bad feeling about this. Combined attacks from a Celtus and its queen can do a lot of damage. Keep your guard up. I wonder if, unlike a bug colony, if this is actually like a Celtus could be like a crab insect of some kind, and it only has like one mate. Maybe that's the case. So the Celtus is like the one mate it has. All right, so let's see. It might do technical. It might not. Do I want to do wings? Okay, maybe I'm gonna go after the Celtus's wings. Oh no, it's doing power. Okay, we'll have to see where this heads. Corrosive acid. Ow! I don't know if Venom Strike is going to be very strong against something that already has the ability. Uh, let's go after those wings again. Celta Spear? Oh boy. Soothing sounds to restore, restore everyone's health. Thank you, Alina. All right, we're still going after those wings. Snow Spray. Good, good, good. Everybody is targeting the Celtus's wings. All right, what does Celtus' spear look like? Ow! They've got speed. Their power's on a whole other level now. They've got speed and brute strength to back it up. Okay, that's trouble. If we can break up their formation, we might stand a better chance at taking them down. We can't just force them apart. We've got to be smart about this. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, wow. Okay, so Frostfang was just like down. And ow! That was me! Rude! All right, Celtus. So they're going after Celtus Unite again. Thank you, Avina. Thankfully, I was on top of that. And yes, part broken. It looks like the two have separated now. Have we taken, oh, we took out the whole Celtus. I've got it. Okay, so now she's just really mad because she's all on her own. Uh, let's go ahead and go after, should we do the body? Let's try the body. Uh oh, those are speed attacks. Ow! All right, now we've got some iron defense going on. Thank you, Avina. Some venom strike. I, I feel like Rotha doesn't have like the most impressive powers. Don't tell, like I'm not, just, I mean right now, cause he's still young. That's all I meant. I wasn't saying that Rotha's not cool or anything. I was just saying that he's a baby. And he's still gotta figure out what his special power is. And it is definitely not, Fighting this queen. Okay, let's do Ice Cyclone. Have we ever done... What happens when we do Ride On with Rotha? I want to find out. I can't remember off the top of my head because it's been so long. It may have been just a couple turns ago that we did it, but I don't remember. All right, Venom Strike again. Rotha, it's a little hard to actually build up the special head-to-head -head abilities with you, isn't it, my dear? All right, what the, what did I tell you to do? All right, I'm gonna do some more technical attacks. Charge breath, huh? So Rotha's using power attacks. I'm smacking it with technical attacks. We've got some frost strikes. All right, what's charge breath? Um, what? Ow! Okay. Not good, not good, come on, Rotha! Okay, Rotha's really upset now, though, and we're totally going to win this power clash. But unfortunately, it doesn't do a ton. Oh boy, how are we gonna work together on this, buddy? Maybe a power attack? Pheromone, oh no, is pheromone gas going to attract another Celtus here? That may do it, that may bring a new Celtus to her. Come on, uh oh. So pheromone gas, <gasps> it did it. It did it. You guys! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought because now she's attracted a new Celtus to come and save her. Okay, we can do this. But all right guys, I'm gonna catch my breath for just a moment and then when we come back, we will carry on with our battle against the Celtus queen. I have to say the biology as I step to the side, dodging all of their corrosive, like corrosive venom attacks 
is making me very excited because how cool is it to have such a giant monster like this? Maybe she uses that venom to be able to corrode away the rocks to make all sorts of caverns that she could raise her young in. There's geysers around here, so maybe they're able to stay warm, channeling the water that's running through the, the mountains. And then how cool would it be to be able to study more about how the relationship between the Seltus Queen and the Seltus works. It's clearly pheromone based. I wonder if, if we had stench, could you actually make it so she couldn't attract any Seltuses to her? Ah, oh, the awesomeness! But we'll have to save all the pixel biology investigation of the biology behind these creatures for next time. For now, friends, do leave a like for our poor little Ratha who is trying his best and I would really love to see what his kinship skill is because I have forgotten. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.